What's up guys, AJ here. In this video, I'm going to be talking about what you need to do as a new real estate agent in order to succeed. The first thing you need to do as a real estate agent is figure out your schedule. This isn't like having a job. You're used to having a boss. A boss tells you when to show up, when to go home, how many hours you're going to work. You are your own boss. You are going to need to figure out your schedule. So it's going to come down to time blocking. Time blocking income producing activities. The biggest area I see agents go wrong is by not having a schedule. If it's not in your schedule, it doesn't exist. So if you're not time blocking in income producing activities, you're not going to do them. All the busy work of life, all the busy work of your business, and if you're not doing income producing activities, you're not making any income. I was having a conversation with one of my agents recently and they were telling me how they prospected 10 hours. And this is a newer agent. I have conversations all the time with agents who are full-time in the business, full-time in the business, and they're only prospecting, lead generating like 10 hours a week. How many hours a week can you work if you're in real estate full-time? Easily 40 to 50 hours a week, right? Well, if you're only prospecting 10 hours a week and you don't have any other clients because you're newer to the business, what are you doing with your other 30 to 40 hours a week? Are you wasting time on Facebook? Are you learning, I mean, procrastinating, watching YouTube videos all day long? And of course you're on YouTube right now and since you're here, you might as well subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. But in all seriousness, if you're watching YouTube videos all day, listening to podcasts all day, participating in these different Facebook groups, then you're not really working, are you? You're not focused on income producing activities. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to get a paper calendar. That's step one, get a paper calendar. Step two is time block your day. I want you to really nail from 8 a.m. to 12. If you focus on income producing activities, strictly really prospecting between 8 and 12, it doesn't matter what happens for the rest of your day, I can pretty much guarantee you, you're going to be successful. So as a new agent, you don't have clients, so you're spending all your time prospecting. If you don't have appointments in the afternoon, there's no reason why you can't keep prospecting. And of course, it's going to be tiring prospecting all day long. It's gonna be mentally exhausting, but how important are your goals to you? This is only temporary if you practice your skills for 30 minutes to an hour a day, and if you focus during your eight to 12 prospecting time block, over the next say 30 to 90 days, you're going to have so many listings, you're going to have so many clients that you can scale back your prospecting to two to three hours a day. So if you've been licensed for a while and you're finding yourself not focused, kind of just lollygagging through the day, not having a sense of urgency, and you feel like days are just getting away from you and it's five o'clock, you're headed home from the office, or maybe you're just calling it a day, you work from home, and you just, you just feel like you don't feel satisfied, you don't feel fulfilled, you feel like you're kind of lazy and you don't really know what's off, and you know you need to make a change, then do this. Just nail eight to 12, laser focused, all out, eight to 12, and then at 12, if you wanna stop working for the day, you wanna call it, you wanna do whatever you wanna do, then go do it. And after a couple of weeks, what you're going to find is from your activity from eight to 12 is gonna create so much activity. You're gonna be going on so many appointments, your afternoons will eventually just kinda of naturally fill themselves if you nail the eight to 12 time block. Now this is all easier said than done. Some things you can do to implement this so that you have some accountability so that it actually gets done is have an accountability partner. Find somebody in one of those Facebook groups that you might be in. And if you're not in any Facebook groups with other real estate agents right now, I have one in the description. It's the Six Figure Agent Group. Hop in there, find some role play partners, find some accountability partners, find somebody that's kind of around, you know, the similar experience, same level that you are, but that's extremely committed. And sometimes you need to go through multiple accountability partners to find one or a few that are a good fit. Most agents just aren't very committed to their success. So you'll have to go through probably a few accountability partners to find the right one, but it's worth it. And you can do fun things like say, if you or your accountability partner miss a day's prospecting, then you owe the other person 10, 50, $100. And you go back and forth like this. 
wouldn't you be more likely to show up and actually do the prospecting if you know if you skip out that day that you owe your accountability partner $100? That's what accountability is all about. Accountability is the breakfast of champions. And I can promise you, when you get accountability in your business, accountability in your life, it really doesn't matter what area of life, you can definitely go farther when you have accountability, whether it's weight loss, health, fitness, doesn't matter. But we're talking real estate here. Just to recap, step one, get your paper planner and time block. Step two, eight to 12, just nail that as your prospecting session. And step three, get an accountability partner. You do those three things and watch your business take off. One question I get asked all the time is like, what should you be doing during that prospecting session? Well, that's why it's important to have a mentor or have a coach because they can help you fill that time with great prospecting activity. Just to get you started though, call an expireds for sale by owners, just listed, just solds. You need a data provider and you need a dialer. If you're interested, I have a link in the comments for Red X. You can get your expireds, your dialer, all through that link and you'll save $150, so that might help you. The way I like to structure my day is I would call the new expireds right off the bat, and then I would call the expireds that I called yesterday next, and then I would call the expireds that I called two days ago, and I would do that. I'd have these separate buckets and I'd keep moving the people over so that I called them five days in a row. Once I called the expires five days in a row, I would move them to like an archived list. I called that list the bag because I just threw it in the bag and that was a prospecting list that I could go to when I ran out of other data that I could be calling. And then after I called my expires, I would go to for sale by owners and then I would go to lead follow up. And if I had time in my prospecting session after that, I might do some just listed just solds or I might go back and call the archive list of expires or maybe call the same expires that day another time. You just wanna make sure that you're calling and speaking to about eight to 10 people per hour. That means you probably need to be using a dialer. If you're not using a dialer and you're just hand dialing, you're probably only getting about five contacts per hour. There's a lot of things that you can be doing to increase your efficiency during your time block. So what I'll do is right here on the screen is I'll put up a couple videos here in a second of more prospecting tips that might be helpful to you. And if they are, let me know in the comments. And if you have questions, I'd love to hop in there too and answer some questions that you might have. So hopefully this video added some value to you. Again, hit the subscribe button, give me a like, and maybe share it with a friend. But either way, guys, this is your year. Nail that time block, eight to 12, crush it. And trust me, you won't regret it.